Hey everyone, it's Colin from GIY Guy. Thanks for checking out today's video where I'll be doing my first transplant of my artichokes. So I say first transplant because I got a little bit ahead of myself, started them a little bit early. So they've outgrown my seedling tray, but it's too early to plant them in the garden. So I've got to kind of do an intermediary stage. So a little backstory on my love for artichokes. For as long as I can remember, my family's done like a seafood feast, we called it, over Christmas Eve or New Year's, whichever worked better. And we would have shrimp, crab legs, all that kind of stuff. And then for some odd reason, we would have artichokes. And I guess it's just because it all went well with butter or something. But that's kind of where my love for artichokes came from. And since I'm GIY guy, or this is a GIY guy channel, I thought, why not try to grow them myself? And so that is what I'm doing. I started these back in January, and then now I'm here a month later, and I've got seven of them they are doing pretty well. So today's video, I'm just gonna be doing a transplant, kind of talk through how to grow artichokes and a little bit of what I've learned just since I started doing this. Before I get too far along, I just wanted to show you where I've been growing these. So I'm down in my crawl space. If you watched my previous video, or a previous video, you can see my grow light setup and how I did all that. So the variety I'm growing is the green globe artichoke. It's a pretty classic variety. But the first thing I had to do was stratify the seeds. So I took about eight to 10 seeds and put them in some potting soil without any water and then stuck them in the fridge for a couple weeks. And that really just helps break dormancy of the seeds. And then I could actually plant them in my seedling trays. Since it's kind of hard for any plant to be transplanted multiple times, I wanted to make the second one where I put it into the garden as easy as possible. And so I made these little cardboard planters. Cheapskate. The reason I made them out of cardboard is so they're biodegradable. That way I don't have to transplant them out of something like a smaller pot into the garden again. So the idea is that I take this cardboard planter, I'll transplant it right now, today, and then come the second time when I put it in the garden, all I have to do is take the painter's tape off since I don't think it's biodegradable. And then I can either um, open up the box and take the transplant out as like a, a cube of soil a lot easier or I can even just drop the whole cardboard thing in the garden and so how I made these was pretty simple I just had some leftover sheets of cardboard from a tile job I did and each sheet of tile had this cardboard backing on it and so all I did was cut like a plus sign out of it and then I basically just folded it up wrapped it in painter's tape to keep it closed, and that's what you see here. So I've got like, uh, I think eight or nine of these. And also, if you haven't noticed yet, this is the seedling tray that I made in the last video, if you wanna check that out in the link above. So the dimensions on these are actually intentional. I made them uh, about four inches tall or deep, and then a three by three opening. And the reason I wanted to make them so tall is that uh, artichokes are from the thistle family, and so they have a tap root that goes straight down, and I wanted to give that tap root as much room as possible to grow so it doesn't get kind of curled around in the bottom of the planter. So these are the planters I'm gonna be using. I have seven artichokes that I need to transplant, and I've got more than enough of these, so I'm just gonna fill what I need with potting soil. And yes, I am kind of a basic gardener. I don't really know what else to use at this point, so I just use miracle Grow potting mix. I should probably find something that's a little bit cheaper since this is like $10 a bag. I'm working on a compost pile, so I hope to have you know my own compost and all that that I can use for planting probably the end of this year or so. Well, let's get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and transplant these. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just fill uh, seven of these with potting soil. All right, so I filled these kind of full, uh, almost to the top, just because I wanna give as much soil for that tap root to grow in. And now comes the tricky part where I actually have to get these out of the tray. And so these are the artichokes right here, the, the big leafy ones. Unfortunately, uh, I didn't do a good job of uh, thinning them out. And so there's about, there's two in a couple of these trays. I think three trays have two artichokes in them. So hopefully they divide pretty easily. I'm hoping that there's just like a tap root for each of them and it, they're not all tangled together. Uh, that would make my life real easy. So let's see how hard this is. So from what I've seen, uh, these bottom parts are kind of flexible and I think I can just squeeze these and pop the whole plug out. It's looking pretty good. And then it also came with a little, little shovel looking thing that helps me dig it out too. I'm gonna try to finagle that in there. That's kind of what I was afraid of, where it just falls apart. I didn't have it packed in very well. Um, this one's looking good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dig a hole enough to put the whole root system in, 
which actually it doesn't have as much of a tap root as I expected. It might just not be fully developed since they're so small. I'm also going to go back and add just another little bit of potting soil on top just to make sure I cover the full root system. So here's what it looks like a little closer up. You can see it it's hard to see like a one tap root, but they are a lot longer than I expected them to be. I'm trying to dig as deep of a hole as I can uh, for all the roots to fit. I don't want to smash them all into a shallow hole. I want to give them plenty of room. I just watched a video this morning of, I think it was Josh Satin, uh, where he was transplanting lettuce. And I'm always like super careful with my transplants, but he said that if you have um, strong transplants you don't actually have to worry about uh, being a little bit rougher with them you don't have to like they're not little glass figurines that you have to be careful with uh, as long as they're healthy transplants they'll grow just fine so I'm banking on that advice <laughs> All right, the transplants are in and so now like I said I'm gonna add just a little bit more potting soil around the top probably another quarter inch or half inch just to give them a little support around the stem All right, now they're all tucked in. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a close look at them. Here's the little guys right there. So they went from like a one bed, one bath apartment in Scrubville to like a penthouse suite in New York City is what it looks like. So plenty of room to breathe. They're looking a little bit droopy. I still need to water them in, but I'm gonna do that next. All right, so I figured a watering can would probably be a little overkill and probably kind of wash it all away. So I have my handy dandy little water bottle where I actually just took a hole punch and punched some holes in the top. Uh, it kind of does the job, it's nothing fancy. I'll try to wash some of the potting soil off the leaves too so they can get better sunlight reception. All right, so that's about all there is to it. We've got them watered in well. Now I'm gonna take them, I'll probably actually leave them outside this afternoon because the sun is, the sun is out and it's beautiful. It's like 60 or 65 degrees right now. So way better than a cross space with a grow light. All right, I wanted to share just a few notes with you on growing artichokes if you're interested or if you're trying to grow them yourself. So what's gonna happen in mid, mid or late March is a process called vernalization. So when it's about 40 or 50 degrees outside, I'm gonna take these and leave them out for a couple weeks just so they're exposed to that 40 to 50 degree weather. And this vernalization process is what promotes that flower initiation. And the flowers are what's gonna produce the buds that you eat. And so this helps with fruit set as well as increasing your yield. And so what it does is actually shorten the vegetative stage. It's kind of a fake out winter. Since these are native to the Mediterranean, they get really mild winters, probably 40 to 50 degrees. So we're gonna give them a fake out winter. Once that's done, they'll say, hey, we need to lock in and get ready to produce fruit um, because they think that they only have a year and that they'll die off the next year. And so then I'm gonna transplant to the garden after the last frost, which is about April 15th for Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, they like well-drained soil with full sun. I'm gonna actually plant them on the side of my garden that gets shade first in the evening. And so it'll be just a tiny bit of shade, a little less sunlight. And they do need lots of water because their buds, you want to be tender because that's the part you're gonna eat. And so if they don't get a lot of water or they don't have very good growth, they're gonna be really woody and tough. The last thing is the artichokes are actually a five year plant. They're, they're perennial. And so they're gonna come back for every year for five years. So what happens is in the fall, once the harvest is over or after your harvest is over, probably mid-summer, then you're gonna cut down the artichoke to the ground level and then come fall, it's gonna send up new shoots that you can either leave there and just have kind of an artichoke patch or you can even just dig, them, dig up the transplants and or dig up the shoots and transplant them somewhere else. So that is artichokes. I'm really excited to see how they grow. Um, I'm kind of banking on 50% survival rate uh, I don't think that all of them are going to thrive, especially because I'm trying to figure out this grow light situation, but hopefully you learned a little something. You can get out there and grow it yourself, artichoke style, but hope your day is awesome. Thanks for watching.